Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Bree the Vet Mat Mom. And today I want to do sort of a newborn hacks or newborn survival guide and just share things with you that I did or products that I used to help get me through the first couple of days with a newborn. Breastfeeding mamas, this one is for you. In the beginning, the first couple of days, no, first couple of weeks, you're gonna, it's gonna be hard. You're gonna be sore while you're trying to get your baby to latch properly, while you're trying to get toughened up. So you definitely need something to help relieve those sore nipples. I started off using uh, lanolin. Eh, it was okay, but it's really sticky. And then also I noticed it was staining my nursing, bra nursing bras and nursing gowns. So I started looking for something else and I stopped using that. I started to use Earth Mama's Organic Nipple Butter. I like this one. It's really natural. It doesn't stain. It's not sticky. And I felt it to be much more soothing and moisturizing. Kind of see it there. But yeah, I love this stuff. And you can also use it, I guess, chapstick. And it has more use, uses than just for your nipples. But yeah, use this. Apply it after every feeding to help soothe and moisturize those babies. <laughs> also, you don't have to wash it off before feeding baby. It's safe for baby. Another thing that got us through those early days is this sound machine. I'm pretty sure I talked about this sound machine in my other video about what I packed in my hospital bag, but our baby loves the sound of white noise. So we played this every time it was time for him to lay down and it really, it really helps him get some good sleep with this thing. And it has four different sounds. It has a heartbeat sound. I'll turn on. They have a nursery song. They have the waves, little beach vibes. This is white noise. And heartbeat. So um, it also has a timer so you can set it how long um, to keep it on. It has one for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and 45 minutes. So use your timer to help save your batteries. So yeah, definitely recommend a sound machine. So in those early days, there are going to be a lot of late night diaper changes. We have this diaper caddy here we kept by our bedside. And in it, we had wipes, we had diapers. There's the petroleum jelly in here that we use um, on our baby's circumcision site to keep it clean and help it heal. Also in here, <laughs> I have, uh, I cut my nipple butter in here also. And then I also have some snacks, <laughs> um, nursing snacks. You're gonna be hungry in the middle of the night during those 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4, whatever. Feeding, so get some snacks on hand. Breastfeeding makes you so hungry and so thirsty. Also, keep a bottle of water by your bed, a big bottle of water. Also in there, we kept a burp cloth um, and bibs too. Those are also nice to have. Always keep a burp cloth handy. We have them all over the house because you never know when you're gonna get a spit up or whenever you need to burp your baby. So I like to have those and grab in distance from wherever I will be. This is our magical swaddle. Our baby loves being swaddled. I know all babies don't, but mine did. And so we got this, I think this was actually in like the welcome, the welcome gift box from Amazon's registry. Uh, this is by Amazing Baby. It's the name of the brand. I like this one, it's, it's cotton. It's really stretchy, it's really soft and it's pretty large. So it makes swaddling really easy. Also to help keep track with breastfeeding, I used um, an app. I used the Baby Feed Timer app. I really like that app because it can track how long you fed for, which size you fed for, and it sets the timer for the next feeding. So you can go in your settings and pick, you want a reminder every two hours or every three hours for when it's time to feed. And it also reminds you, hey, you're on your left side or hey, you're on your right side. So I love that app. You also can track down things like the baby's sleep, diapers. Also, um, in the beginning we did that, we tracked like, okay, he had a wet one or a poopy diaper. So we knew how many diapers he was getting a day. If you're pumping, the app can also let you keep a record of how much milk you expressed and what time you expressed. I still use that app. It's a, it's a lifesaver. We also use the Four Moms Rockaroo. 
It's amazing, especially once we swaddled him and put him in that rocker. We with our sound machine, he was we were sure to get a good nap in for him. So he loves that. We still use that now. We got that off of the Facebook Marketplace actually for like 50 bucks. And those things are pretty expensive new. So if you could find a uh, a used one for a good price, go for that because there's also a chance that your baby may not even like it. So I don't want to spend a hundred plus dollars on something that my baby may not even like. So that we, we, we really got a good deal on that. Okay, so some things for mom during those first early weeks, Walmart undies and maxi pads. The hospital will give you some um, really good draws to use, but I ended up buying like some Walmart ones too, really loose fitting ones. And I had a C-section, so I really like those because they were large enough to put over my incision without having the seam digging into my incision because I was really uncomfortable. And you're, you're going to want to toss these out <laughs> once you're past, you know, your healing. So just some, some cheap pack of Hanes or something I had and put the large maxi pads. You'll be good to go. And last, but certainly not least, the last thing that got me through every single day still does is my friend coffee. <laughs> every morning after waking up with two hour increments of sleep, if I was lucky, coffee got me through the day. It gave me that kickstart I needed. And I missed coffee so much because when I was pregnant, I could not stand the smell of coffee. I could not drink coffee, which is crazy because I drink coffee almost every day. I love it. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. That's all I could think of as far as things that really were really helpful for me during those first couple of months. Um, new moms, if you have any questions about anything that you're thinking of buying but not sure, you can comment your questions below. And other moms out there, comment some things that you found helpful in those early months that really helped you get through. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, guys. Here's a picture of baby Lee in the rocker with the sound machine.